Hello, this is Tony, Tony's Music and the Administrator of Doodly and Tony PNGs. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get a book, um, an e-book, which I've got. And it's a, a decorating one, so I'm going to put that on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the front page, which is like, you know, the cover of the book. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use print screen to print that off. Um, or put it to my pasting folder and then I'm going to paste it on paint so paste it on paint like that drag it up a bit so that you can see the white there and then I'm going to select tool the rectangular selection tool and I'm going to drag it across to the both corners across there like that that's reasonable then crop it now what I'm going to do is save that as PNG and I'm going to call it decor because it's to do with decorating which is fair enough isn't it right so I'll do that save that to my desktop then I'm going to click off paint because I don't need it anymore I need to go on affinity tools and go to affinity designer and once I've done that click off that um, folder because it's just a folder of all the files in for affinity that's just what I do um, I'm going to close that off because I don't need to open a new document. I need to open uh, a file that's already there, which is a 3D cover, which is what I'm going to use to make this. And I'm going to use a magazine too, which is a very wavy piece of uh, illustration. So if I'm going to put the photos on this, I'm going to have to use a different tool for this. This is why I'm going to show you how to use it if I can okay I'm going to drag the decor on there and then I'm going to open it again to do that side right and then this one I'm going to just click on and just drag it up there for a sec right so now what I need to do now is I need to associate them with the actual sheets that they're on right so I'm going to drag the first one which is the one that's on the right click folder there and that's connected to that now right so I'll do the same with the other one in a minute I'm just gonna delete that take that one up take that one down and get that one and drag it into there like that so now they're both associated with those areas so if they go out of the areas you won't see them at all but in that area they're like masked right so now we're going to uh, photo so I'll go into my photo editor part and as you'll see in a moment the picture will come up as it should do and what we'll do is just click on them in a minute we need to click on the layers and cut the layers down so I want to just do the right side first I just do one at a time it's best to Right, so I need to click on, on, on I'll open that one and open that one to get to the decor image that I put on right so that's on but it, it doesn't show it but now where the perspective warp tool is the mesh warp tool is above it which is the one we need and with this one what we need to do is we need to drag the handles just the same as we did with the other one to the corners of the other page right best you can get them as close to it as possible or over it if you can and then you'll see it doesn't work out quite right but you have to do some adjustments with it because they've got two handles on each corner and the handles you can move them about to adjust it as needed which is what you'd need to do with this one so I'm just gonna move, move that back that way there like that and that one move that back slightly then move this up a bit until it goes up there till we see up there right and it, it's a bit of fiddling about but it's well worth it once you've got the right picture on and everything and it looks really good then and you have to click on the corners just to get the handles up sometimes which is what I just did and I'll put that there now we have to keep messing about with a few on them sometimes because some of them don't work out right you might have to go back and forward do it a couple of times to get it right 
but that's normal ain't it, for anything really. I'm going to just pull that one up a bit. Like that. Make sure you cover the ends as best you can. Now I might need to pull this down a bit just to check where we are on it. Oh, nearly, nearly very good then. And now I need to check this one here. Where's it? I can't find the end to that one. There it is. I need to. That one's too boring, so I'll take that out a bit. Bring that one in a bit. So I need to pull that back. Oh, that might. There you go. Alright, now that doesn't look too bad. Or I could be wrong. You just pull it down a little touch. Just, just check. And that's it. You just leave it there. Alright, now I'm just going to press apply for that one. Because I've only done the one so far. But you can see the kind of messing about you have to do to try and get it right. Alright, there you go. That's not too bad. That looks pretty reasonable. Right now, um, we'll just click that one up, um, and again, now go to the left one, and do the same with that one. Really, That's, uh, it's as simple as that, really. But it's it's hard at first when, until you get used to it, and you have to get used to it. And it's, even when you get used to it, you still have a bit of trouble with it sometimes. I'm I'm only just getting used to it myself, really. But I thought you might like to know how to do this. Anyway, so I've got to try it and try and show you how to do it so it's at least you've got the idea of what you're supposed to do. And you know, it's just subtle movements every now and again on it just to get them right. Like that, there, like that. See, I pulled it across then as well. Did you notice? Pull the handle across a little bit. Now I need to pull that one across that way because that's too far in that way. There you go, that's there. This one I'll pull in a bit. This, no, can't put any more than that. Right, so you click on the corners if you need to. Don't get it there, that's there. And then pull that one out a little touch like that. Let's just check this one because I'm not sure that's right. That might be too far in. There you go. I think that's alright. Maybe that needs to go up a little touch there. That's it, yeah. That's fine. I think that's it. I think we're done. Yeah? Don't look so bad, does it? That's right, yeah. So, we're done with that. Right now, if you want to, you can cut any bits off. Or if you've got a problem, or say you want to, you're not happy with it. Undo mesh warp tool and try it again. So let's go back on it and try it again. It's as easy as that. All you have to do is do undo and then try again. And then we can do back up there, back over here, there, like that. I, I suggest that you go over the corners on each one of these as well, just the same as the other way of doing it with the perspective tool. Now, because that way you can cover what you can. Whereas on on this this one's a bit more fiddly than the other one, to be honest. But I mean, it's a good good way of displaying your stuff anyway. So worth trying, ain't? I will try it anyway. We can do it for you. There you see that one's going wrong there, so I need to pull that back. Yeah, that is there, like that. So we need to just pull that there. Just want to check everything. Double check it. Keep doing it. Pop a bit. Oops. Lost the tool then. There you go. There, like that, there. Now I wonder if I can move this one at all. Just a little bit there. And bring that one back slightly. Missed it. one slightly back um I might have to just have it adjust that and slightly back that way a bit yeah that's it and then this one back that way there you go that looks better there we go 
that's, that's, that's it, that's perfect now I think. To my knowledge it looks alright. Yeah, that's it. That looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So that's how you do it basically. You just uh, keep messing about with the mesh warp tool. Take it steady when you're moving the an angles and do it nice and steady and gently. If you, if you have to redo it, just go to the edit and undo mesh warp tool. And um, if you want to do anything else, like you can crop it if you want to, like I did with the other one. Crop it down a bit if you need to. And crop it up if you need to, whatever. It's not hard. But when you cropped it, make sure you click on it so that it does crop it. Like this. Right, so it's, that's clipped now, right? Now all you have to do is make sure you select it all before you export. Um, you can export it the old document because you want the um, edges in, so we export it as that. And basically, that's it, you've done it. So, decor one. And I want to cover the other one, and then I'm going to put it in desktop. Let's get to desktop and put it there, right? And we'll have a look at the finished product on its own with a proper picture in a minute let's have a look here we go decor one click on it and let's have a look it looks pretty good doesn't it yeah. it's relatively good i could have done with putting that up a bit more there but that's how you use it anyway so i hope you enjoyed this um tutorial and i hope it's useful to you in the future so you can uh, do your own uh, magazines pictures images whatever you know uh, I will try and get some more stuff done in the future. Uh, but please, please um, remember to subscribe to Tony's Music. And have a good day and stay safe. Thank you.